Hi there, my name is Katie Rose from Bhakti Business and I want to talk to you today a little bit about branding. Um, now, if you have any kind of business, whether it's online or in person, no doubt you are creating content around that business um, in which you're wanting to show, you know, what your brand is all about, um, give a kind of visual imagery that people can have a deeper understanding of the offerings. So let's say, for example, you are a yoga teacher. You might have some images of people doing yoga postures or even people in a class or yourself doing some yoga postures. Now, research shows that your imagery, the visual images that you attach to the offerings that you're putting out is incredibly important. You might think it's the wording that's important, like, you know, the sales copy. And yeah, sales copy does matter a lot. And I'll talk about that in another video at another time. But actually what the research is showing us more and more is that people look at visuals more than they read words. So the images that you um, use to help with promoting your offerings, they matter. They're really important. I want to give you an example from my own business. Um, it's really easy, like I just said, to do the kind of obvious, you know, you're a yoga teacher, so you show the yoga postures, or you're an Ayurveda teacher like me, so you show someone, um, you know, blending some spices to make um, a special Ayurvedic meal. Um, and what I want to encourage you to do today with this video is think beyond that and think in terms of visuals and images that create a vibration, a look, a feel, and kind of draw people into your world much more than just an obvious um picture. Now, one of the ways that you can do this, and this is really, really powerful, is by using your own photos rather than stock images. I know it's really tempting to jump onto a website and either purchase or download for free a stock image that represents what it is that you're selling. But I can tell you now that those stock images will not hold the potent vibration of your aligned offering. So even a photo that you've taken yourself that you feel is less than perfect or not as professional as a stock photo, will have a vibe about it, it will have a kind of energetic blueprint that will help your audience to understand what you're all about and what your offering is all about. So that's one pointer, utilizing your own photos rather than stock photos. The second thing is you don't necessarily need to show us exactly what it is you're selling. Like if you're a massage practitioner, it doesn't need to be a picture of someone receiving a massage. If you're a yoga teacher, it doesn't need to be the yogis doing their practice. Think about what is the feeling of this thing that I'm offering? What is it that I really want to convey? And then um, see if you can find some imagery or take some, some imagery that really gets that essence across. I'm going to give you two examples. At the moment, I'm running a free training, a free opt-in, um, which is called the Lakshmi Codes. It's a three-day session around the goddess Lakshmi. Now, the obvious would be go get a stock image of Lakshmi and use that as for the main image of my marketing material. That's not what I did at all. I decided I wanted to work with the colors pink and gold. And actually, I found some beautiful imagery around that. I found some marbling kind of... Um, uh, beautiful graphics and I also found one particular shot of a pair of earrings, pink earrings with a gold trim against a pink background. And for me, the the vibration, the colours, the feeling, the essence of that particular photo really um, captured this essence of Lakshmi, the goddess. Now, I could have taken that a further step and then done my own version of that uh, photo, created something myself. In this case, I didn't. I did use a stock photo, but it really captured the, the vibe, the feeling of what I wanted to get through in these teachings. You might not immediately think that a picture of a pair of earrings has anything to do with teaching about the goddess Lakshmi, but it will give people the energetic vibe of what it is that I'm sharing in this training. And that visual will be very powerful. Here's another example. Um, there's a beautiful company that I love who create uh, body oils for Ayurvedic massage. And, um, you know, a really obvious way for them to do their branding would be to show us bottles and their packaging and the products ready to be shipped or, you know, on a beautiful um, flat lay. In fact, what they do is they show the most stunning images of the oils swirling, dripping through fingertips. Uh, one of the images has got rose petals and gold within the oil. And it's like a whirlpool of it. So it's this very, very um, tactile feeling, sensory image of like almost like you're being immersed in a pool of oil which is very much what having an abhyanga ayurvedic massage can feel like and so in those evocative actually they're short videos um you really it's almost like you can smell the rosebuds coming out of the screen um and that kind of visual um that has a really sensory impact is another way of really utilizing clever visuals in your branding 
I hope these tips have been helpful. I'm going to be sharing plenty more with you over the coming weeks. Um, but for now, I wanted to share that around visuals and branding. Talk to you soon.